Hi, my name is Masood Ashina. I'm professor of neurology at the Danish Headache Center. And my name is Mohamed Al Karagoli. I am a medical doctor and a PhD student at the Danish Headache Center. Today we'll present our new findings from the human models of migraine, specifically investigating the role of the ATP sensitive potassium channels in migraine without aura. Despite considerable progress in migraine research and novel emerging therapies, fundamental questions about signaling pathways causing migraine remained unanswered, and better pharmacological treatments are warranted. KTP channels are expressed in cranial arteries, trigeminal ganglion, trigeminal nucleus caudalis. Furthermore, several migraine trigger molecules activate and open KTP channels. Possible involvement of the KTP channels in migraine initiation can be investigated by pharmacological provocation using KTP channel opener lefchromacaline. In the present study, we hypothesized that the lefchromacaline provokes migraine attacks in migraine patients without aura. We tested this in a balanced, double-blind, randomized crossover study. To test our hypothesis, we recruited 16 otherwise healthy patients diagnosed with migraine without aura. The patients were randomly allocated to receive intravenous infusion of fluocumacalim or placebo over 20 minutes on two days separated by at least one week. Migraine characteristic included headache intensity and accompanying symptoms middle cerebral artery blood flow velocity, and the diameter of superficial temporal and radial arteries were recorded before and after the beginning of infusions. And now for the results. 16 patients completed the study. All of these patients developed migraine attacks after leukomachalim compared with one patient after placebo. There was no change in mean middle cerebral artery blood flow velocity. However, we found a significant increase of temporal artery diameter, but no change of radial artery diameter after leukomachalim compared with placebo. The major finding of the present study was that leukomachalim induced migraine attacks in all migraine patients, which makes levchromacalim the most powerful migraine-inducing substance ever tested in humans. The reported provoked migraine attacks mimic patients' spontaneous migraine attacks, including localization of the headache and accompanying symptoms. These data suggest that the KTP channels might be a key downstream mechanism of migraine and a target for future migraine Drugs. In conclusion, I would say that we will continue investigating the role of the KTP channels, and we hope that other groups will join us to further explore the role of these channels in migraine pathophysiology. We hope that this will eventually lead to new, more specific drug targets for migraine prevention. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to present you more data.